Welcome everyone. It is time for another disc review. And today I have the new Innova Gorgon. Gorgon? I don't know. Say it either way. It doesn't matter to me. But it just came out, what, a few weeks ago? Maybe a month or so ago? It's a brand new disc by Innova. has a pretty cool looking stamp on it. A pretty looking disc. And this is the G-Star plastic, which is one of my favorite plastics because I just think it feels good with the grip. It's... Um, I don't know, it flies really nice for me usually when I throw a G-Star. Uh, Star Plastic's pretty good as well. Halo obviously is really good. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to throw this disc. I have never thrown it yet. All right, I bought it like a week or so ago, but I have holding off to throw it here for the disc review. And we're going to see how it, how it flies. The numbers on it are a 10, 6, negative 3, 1. So that's a 10 speed. A six glide so that's really awesome negative three turn and then a one fade so it's understable i like understable disc i think it's because of the way i throw i, I a lot of my discs are understable i love the road runner the mamba i mean those are ones i throw a lot uh when it comes to the end of a disc so i just like the understable disc so i'm really excited about this one to see how this one flies um so the first couple might not be very pretty but we'll see what happens. Whoa, 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 let's stop right there. I can't believe I didn't tell you a little bit more about the disc. I wanna show you uh, that it has a really good dome on it. Kind of reminds me of the Sidewinder in that way. Um, similar to a Roadrunner, although the Roadrunner kind of flattens out, I think, on top. But it has a really good dome on it. Uh, it has your typical driver rim uh, on there, which is great for the grip. It has a little bit of a bead around it. Uh, typical on the edge of a driver. I mean, overall, it's kind of feels like your typical driver, just maybe more of a dome than you might be used to. All right, now that I've shown that to you, let's go ahead and get back to throwing. So I have a couple of cones down there. Uh, hopefully you can see those. And, you know, first one, we'll just try to, well, this first time, we'll just try to get to the first one, then down to the second one, hopefully. Um, we'll see. So this, this 10 speed, that's kind of the highest speed I usually go um, for my arm speed. That's just the way it is. I don't usually go too much higher. So that might be a challenge for me to be able to get this disc at its top distance. Um, and it may end up fading hard for me because it's the higher, higher speed for me. Uh, but we will see what happens. This is 169 grams, by the way. Before we go any further, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe and make sure you click that bell to get notified of any other videos that are coming out. Now back to the video. Oh, goodness gracious, love it. First throw, and we're in between the two cones. I mean, I could ask for a better first throw with that disc. Love it already. All right, let's go get it. All right, that was awesome on that first throw. Hopefully I can duplicate that for some more and then get some further distance. Oh, too early. Well, that's what happens when you release it early. Still good distance. All right, at least that smidgen early, but you know, not too bad. Coming at you there, it seemed to kind of stay straight and then just fade a little bit. Um, there we go. Look at that baby sore. Are we down there? Almost to the second cone. All right, first impressions. Love the disc. Probably going to bag that one. Uh, definitely is an understable to stable disc. Um, pretty much, gosh, was that almost straight from where I, I threw it? Pretty much? Yeah, great disc. Look at that. Boom! Her D. That is, that's a fun disc. People, I'm telling you, there's a reason why most of the discs I bag are Innova. And a lot of people don't want to bag Innova because I guess they are, you know, the ones that have been around the longest. And, and I don't know why. Uh, you know, they work for Calvin Heimberg. They're big germ. And, and Nate Sexton, I mean, there's a reason why uh, they're the biggest company. I mean, there's a lot of other great companies. So don't, don't get me wrong. I love MVP, Discraft, um, you know, so... But that's a great disc. Definitely on backhand, it's great. 
Let's try some forehand. This doesn't flip. I'm really gonna have a difficult time getting it to flip back up. It just stays on this Anheuser and just kind of keeps turning. Uh, I don't know if it's my throw or, or what. Let's try it again. Ah, much better. There we go. Now it looks pretty. Oh, hopefully I got that in. I was, wasn't out too far. Hopefully I got that. That time it flipped up and looks pretty. If that's not on camera, buoy. <laughs> so the Gorgon or the Gorgon, however you want to say it, is a great disc. I'm definitely bagging this. It's a nice understable disc, has a nice turn to it. You can see the S turn there. Um, you know, at first time I threw it, it went tremendous. It went further than I was trying. So, you know, I will have to figure out the distance on it, but I will definitely be putting it in my bag and I will be using it along with the Roadrunner and the Sidewinder and the Mamba. These will be some of my go-to distance drivers. It is on the higher end of the speed I use, um, but I think I will get used to it pretty, pretty quick and it's in the plastic I like to use. So I encourage you to go ahead and get one of these and give it a try. And if your speed isn't quite up there yet, um, you know, try the Road Runner, uh, which I have a review for, or the Sidewinder, which I have a review for as well. I'll put those in the link below. Well, I hope this review was helpful for you. I'd like to thank you for joining us. And like we always say here, go man, go, get out and throw.